Welcome to the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. Here's the seafood news for Monday, January 27, 2014. The National Marine Fisheries Service announced an increase of 2.5% in the total allowable catch of Pacific Cod in the Gulf of Alaska, from 63,150 to 64,738 metric tons. A season fishing runs from January 1st to the 10th, but in, to June 10th, but that includes uh, longline and offshore fishing. Shore-based processors expect to be finished a season fishing prior to February 1st. Alaskan grounds prices are between 28 to 33 cents a pound, depending on fishing areas, which is up about three to five cents in some areas. Chinese demand is strong for H&G raw material, with Chinese importers reporting current offers from Alaska at 2,500 to 2,700 U.S. dollars per metric ton. Despite the strong demand, there's a lot of pushback at these prices as China is looking to pay 2,300 to 2,400 per metric ton. Alaskan processors will likely produce fillets versus selling at the lower levels as the return is greater. Current domestic fillet inventories are out of balance with high levels of unsold 32 up ounce fillets. Prices on the larger fillets have been adjusted to the, to the low to mid $3 levels to stimulate sales. 816 and 1632 prices are close to the same level as the larger fillets, which may make the 32 up a good value. To date, 5,772 metric tons have been harvested in the Gulf of Alaska, which is approximately 9%. Whiting supply has been strained out of Argentina, which has created an opportunity for marketers to push whiting from Peru as an alternative. The Peruvian authorities have set the 2013-14 catch limit at 38,957 metric tons, up significantly from 13,750 metric ton level set for 2013. El Instituto del, del Mar del Peru made recommend, recommendations based on biomass recovery levels, calling 2013 a transition year. U.S. importers have been looking at Peruvian hake partially because it's 20 to 25 cents a pound less than Argentina, Argentinian product. Exporters warn that the quality of Merluces Gai from Peru and Merluces Hubsi from Argentina are not the same. Gai can have a darker color and a softer texture than Hubsi. It's worth noting that Argentina has re resumed production after their government mandated closure for Christmas holidays, and Hubsi will be hitting the U.S. within six to eight weeks. Thank you for joining me with the Tradex Foods 3 Minute Market Insight. This is Robert Ryer Ryerson. Buy smart and eat more seafood.